This is Ken Dickinson for environmental biology class under Professor Sharp. Uh, this is the Greenville final project. Uh, this is a, uh, a layout of Community 571. Community 571 is an intentional community uh, in the central Rocky Mountains. It was founded about 25 years ago in the year 2025. Uh, and it brings together individuals and families who wish to live a uh, simpler, cooperative, and more sustainable lifestyle. Uh, there are 25 residences in all here, with an additional 10 uh, that are for guests or expansion as needed. The residential dwellings and other small buildings uh, around the community are made from recycled shipping pallets uh, using the plans that have been developed by I-Beam Design. Uh, they've been finished out in a variety of ways, anything from plaster to uh, clapboard um, that's been recycled from older buildings to stone. Um, much of the furniture inside the residences is built in also from shipping pallets. Uh, although some have been uh, built using uh, repurposed and recycled items. Larger structures, such as the main building here in the center, uh, which is a meeting and dining facility, uh, have been built from concrete using uh, designs from monolithic domes uh, located in Italy, Texas. Water is supplied to the community by a nearby river here that is fed from snow melt uh, coming down from the mountains uh, where the community is situated. Rainwater is also captured and stored from a variety of locations uh, around the, the community. Uh, distribution is by way of an electric pump here from the river, with the water being filtered and exposed to UV light to reduce contamination. Once it gets into the residences, additional filtering uh, can be done for cooking or drinking uh, using Berkey water filter systems, which use reusable, uh, cleanable filters. Power for the community comes from uh, two sources. The main source is an anaerobic digester uh, with supplemental power coming from other um, wind turbines situated around the area. Now, these wind turbines are uh, bladeless, saphonian style wind turbines, which are smaller and far more efficient than bladed wind turbines. They also don't have the same problems with uh, bird strikes and um, low level, um, uh, low frequency noise that is associated with larger bladed wind turbines. The, uh, um, those uh, saphonian wind turbines use a hydraulic power to, to generate their electricity, and that can actually be stored in storage batteries uh, for use whenever the anaerobic digester and its uh, accompanying um, power plant um, are down. Uh, the great thing about the anaerobic digester is that solid waste from the community can be put into the anaerobic digester. Uh, everything except wood can go into that. So that includes all kinds of uh, sewage, uh, any kind of bio waste like uh, grass clippings, uh, recyclable materials that can be broken down, things like that can go into that. Uh, transmission uh, to the buildings is by wireless transmitter. Um, the, uh, each of the, uh, the buildings has a receiver, and then the uh, uh, generator itself has a uh, wireless transmitter. Now, because of the way the community is arranged, walking from place to place is actually very easy. Uh, and also, uh, bicycles uh, can be encouraged, as well as uh, little push scooters. Um, other areas can be accessed, some of the outlying areas can be accessed by on foot or by bicycle of either the standard variety or the cargo uh, variety of bicycle. Motor vehicles that are necessary for the operation of the community and those personal vehicles used for travel uh, to and from the community are parked in a designated parking area away from the main part of the, the community here. All right. Um, the use of motor vehicles within the community itself is prohibited without permission granted by the village council. There may be times when motor vehicles need to be brought in uh, for very special uh, circumstances, but in general, uh, motorized vehicle use in the community is prohibited. 
Uh, it is a very small community. Uh, as I said, there's only 25 actual residences, and so the number of children is actually uh, small as well. The children of the, this community are unschoolers, uh, which means that they have chosen, the parents have chosen unschooling or child-led learning as a preferred way to educate their children. Uh, weekly educational and social outings uh, have been arranged with other neighboring communities and other unschoolers. Uh, because of the, the issue with solid bio-waste I've already talked about, uh, wastewater is treated using a soil biotechnology system, and this is the wastewater treatment area here. Um, it uses a combination of physical and biological processes, uh, including filtration through plants uh, in order to clean the water. Now, since this system operates aerobically, uh, unpleasant odors have been virtually eliminated, and the processed water is then used for irrigation in the community gardening area and also for uh, irrigation of the, the, the green spaces around the residences. Most of the residents uh, who live in this community are telecommuters, uh, so they don't need to leave and come back. Uh, they include people like writers, programmers, marketing specialists, uh, professors who teach online classes, things like that. There are also residents uh, in this community who are specialists in other areas, such as sustainable power generation and low-impact agriculture. So the needs of the community are serviced by the residents, and then there are also residents that bring in uh, money for the community itself. This has been a presentation on Community 571.